Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bloodborne. I dropped us back here in central Yarnum because I want to go fight that big enemy with our big new axe. Big scary new axe. Uh, last time was fraught with failure. To put it mildly. To put it very mildly. Things did not go well. Um, and we've got the best attire we can have right now. We've got, uh, we've got the cane. Which I really enjoy. I think it's a really cool looking weapon. <laughs> it's just it's so goofy. Uh, but we got the axe, which seems a lot bigger and beefier, so I want to try using this against some stuff. So we're just going to kind of explore and hunt down some enemies. Maybe kind of slowly work towards uh, like grinding some souls or some blood, whatever, a little bit. Uh, it would be nice to go like actually upgrade some equipment or level up again. We need a lot of blood for those things. Yeah, this is not bad. I think our big enemy, the one that I'm after, is just back there a little ways. Let's try uh, Extendo Axe. that some of these enemies are gonna show up and ruin our fun. Also, I just made a very interesting discovery. Uh, with our extendo axe, which we're holding with both hands, try holding with both hands, uh, we can't shoot our gun. So... Interesting. So our, our like our normal right-handed attacks. I'm I'm learning. Our normal right-handed attacks are like the side sweep and the overhand sweep. If I t if I use my uh, shoot gun button, we got side sweeps. So we got a three-hit combo there. Which can we charge those? No, we cannot. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about this weapon yet. Okay. So here's the big, super scary, tough enemy. We gotta, we're going to deal with this stuff first, though. Gosh darn it. This weapon is so slow. The cane, which is much, much weaker, is also, like, really quick. Which honestly might be the way to go in this game. I'm not sure. I'm kind of liking the quick attacks. Hmm. No, we're gonna go for raw power against this enemy back here. <laughs> Alright, cleared out a path. I would love to, like, sneak up and try to backstab him. Although that is not a mechanic I've had much luck with in this game so far. Man, let's get our one and only Molotov cocktail ready here, I guess. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, it doesn't do squat when you're blocking like that. Do we want to lengthy axe? Are, are we... I'm so gonna get wrecked by this guy. Oh, I like that a lot. Nope, don't like that. Whew. Uh, blood gem contact. Tempering blood gemstone. I don't even know what that is. We got an achievement or a trophy, whatever. PlayStation thing. Is there anything else back here, or was that it? Also, also, valid question. Do we think that enemy's going to respawn, or is that like a like a Black Knight from Dark Souls? One and done.
Not a badge. Still can't use the Kirk hammer. Still ten. Okay. Carol rune effect. Physical attack up plus one point one. Shape radial. Type one. A blood gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. Blood gems are especially rare bloodstones that grow on cold blood. Blood gems are kneaded into weapons using workshop tools, but only when of matching shape. Most radial blood gems have effects that bear upon physical attacks. So is this like a consumable thing? Like if I put the, the gem into a weapon... I mean, it's not particularly significant, but a little bit helps, I guess. I don't know. I don't understand. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to think of that. Do we go back to... Oh. If the load times weren't so atrocious, I would think about going back and testing this out. But load times in this game are just awful. So, no. No thanks. We'll pass it up. Alright, let's go fight the boss, I guess. Yeah, that weapon takes forever to kill anything. I don't really know what else to do other than fight the boss. Also, I do know that we could go around and just, like, completely bypass these enemies, but... Where's the fun in that? <laughs> ah, I like that attack a lot. Oh, I like that attack a lot. I'm kind of having fun with the uh, crazy reach on this axe. I don't know how I feel about it compared to, say, like the cane. Or uh, let's let's swap the cane out for our saw cleaver. Trusty old saw cleaver. It's been doing good work for us. Oh, and I wanted to send the elevator back up for when we inevitably die and need to use it from the other direction again. Good old elevator trick. Thank you, Dark Souls. Hmm. We could try going down and dealing with the pig again and all that stuff, but... Eh, what's the point? Ultimately, I'd really just like to... Hope these guys all get wrecked by the fire boulder. That was pretty sweet. I love the things these enemies say as they die. You are cursed! Oops. Wrong button. Uh, nah, we'll go with the trusty saw for this one. Saw, cleaver, whatever this thing's called. I already forgot.
he sneak up on you? Is that? I would love to see if we can get a backstab. The answer's no. Oh boy. Yeah, I got reached too. What are you gonna do about it? Bloodstone shard. One thing that I want to do here before we enter the fight, we haven't actually uh, checked this out yet, but we have a notebook. We haven't looked to see if we could write a note. So it's going to be similar to Dark Souls where you, you pick kind of a word template. Fear blank, remember blank, time for blank. It's the scourge of blank. Reeks of blank. Blank is effective. Beware of blank. Blank with care. It's all thanks to blank. Despicable blank. Woeful blank, wondrous blank, nothing but blank here, blank waits ahead, you must accept blank, have mercy, comma, blank, no mercy for blank, have audience with blank, reminiscent of blank, oh, blank, you've come to the right place, bless us with blood, may the good blood guide your way. Hmm, hmm, might have found a new, uh, a new saying for closing out my videos of this series, fear your blindness. The sky and the cosmos are one. Let us cleanse these foul streets. You're in the know, right? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Take a step forward. Turn back. Those with faith will be spared. Don't be fooled. Pitiful, really. Behind you. Don't you dare look at me. Sincerest thanks. A hunter is never alone. Please, carry on in my stead. Run. Don't give up. I'm torn between please carry on in my stead or those with faith will be spared or bless us with blood. Yeah, we're going to go with please carry on in my stead. And we don't actually have any words to plop in here. So these are like the things that we could fill in the blank with. False God, evil eye, kin of the cosmos, blobby thing, slimy thing, unknown thing, malformed thing, the lost. Watcher, terrible foe, giant foe, infected one, abhorrent beast. Humans, man, woman, elderly, ailing one, da 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 da. Blood huddled hunter, hunter of hunters, wild blood, executioner, adversary, da 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 da. There's some good stuff in here. Dullard, I like that word. Titan. Tactics, so physical attack, blunt attack, fire, arcane, special item, coarse paper, medicine, blood vial, visceral attack, rally. Blunderbuss Beast Transformation. I'm still curious about that. Focus on evasion. Focus on healing. Hit and run. Attack from behind. Kill first. Charging forth. Alertness. Unbreakable will. Leaden Constitution. There's some good stuff in here. I like some of these. Hidden Path. Unseen Village. Workshop. Old Labyrinth. Safe Place. Grand Cathedral, Clinic, Yarnum, Trap, Statue, Message, Reading, Hunting, Night, Dawn, Blood, Warm Blood, Scourge, Life, Cosmos, Donation, Ritual, Oath, Execution, Defilement, Sinister, Inquisitiveness, Sanity, Madness, Fervor, Seduction, Feasting, Tonsil, I, I don't know why that's... One of these things is not like the others. Sobbing. All's well. All. <clears throat> the Unseen. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll just say, please, carry on in my stead. So look at that. We have our own note here. I'd love to see how some of you die. You, oh, you were probably trapped fighting one of the uh, werewolf guys. Remember reinforcements, caller. I don't know what that means. Don't give up. <sighs> do we traverse the nightmare fog? I think we do. I don't really think we have any other options at this point. <laughs> I don't want to do this fight anymore. Oh, hello. Nice to see you, too. He's 
Dunlocks us, and that sucks. Gosh darn it. Okay. Not the dodge I was looking for. Gosh darn it. He has a little bit of, like, uh, like, tracking with his attacks. A little bit of lock on there. Oh boy, this is a bad spot. Very bad spot. That didn't do squat. I was hoping to, like, interrupt him there. Gosh darn it. He's very swift. Whoops. Not the right button. Oh, and he has that damn gun, too. <laughs> I mean, we could try using our axe. I don't think our axe is quick enough to do much here, though. And our attack patterns with this thing are uh, unfamiliar and uh, not good for this guy. See, that doesn't stagger him. We could try one of these. That worked. All right, we're, uh, it's not doing any damage, though. It's knocking him away. Oh, now he's got one. No, I like, I like the, uh, the razor. Gosh darn it. I hate his stupid blunderbuss shots. Also, how is he using a blunderbuss when he's got a two-handed axe weapon like this? That's not fair. Uh-oh. I'll small lock on. There we go. Okay, I wasn't close enough, I don't think, to do uh, a visceral attack. I think distance is, like, the primary factor in getting those off. And timing, which I don't have any of. Two of those. I'm gonna go through all my blood vials here. Damn it! Will you, will you stop shooting me when I'm trying to heal, you jerk? I mean, we're doing okay in there, although I burnt through like 13 blood vials. Uh, maybe we're not doing okay. I'm just trying to figure out his patterns and figure out when we <coughs> when we got openings. Damn it, Bloodborne. I still don't know how we could actually get summoned. I would love to be able to do that. Hello. Okay, not how I wanted that to work out. Nope, no good. Okay. 
See how that worked. That worked out just fine. Let's get him with a running attack. Nope. Let's not do that. I have no idea what the running attack was going to be with this weapon. We probably should have tested this first. There we go. Let me out. I don't want to be here. We gotta go through all this goofy nonsense again. Let's try this one with the big axe. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I just, I do find this entertaining every single time. I don't really know why. I mean, I do know why. It's a giant flaming boulder. It's like an Indiana Jones movie or something. Try this with the uh, normal mode axe. I'm only going to fight one of you at a time. I don't want to fight both. I really wanted to go backstab him, but it's like, mm, bad idea. There we go. Look at that. Visceral backstab. Visceral is a great way to describe that. Just like the sound effects and... Yeah. Yeah, so I think remember Reinforcements Caller is, hey, you have a bell, you should ring it and get assistance in this fight, because it's rough. Which is not entirely untrue. Hmm... Off to a fantastic start. <laughs> All right, that worked. I think the trick here is ABD. Always be dodging. Gosh darn it. Alright, well, phase two. Oh, dang it. He interrupted me. Pop it with the damn gun. It's the gun. That's like the worst part of this fight. The fact that he can shoot. Oh, well, we had the same idea. Not where I want to be. Not where I want to be. Away. Gotta get away, gotta get away. Oh no. Bad place to be. <sighs> and I keep getting trapped. That's the thing I don't like here. I'm getting salty. I can feel it. Feel the salt rising. <sighs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this until we beat him.
I do wish we could figure out how to get summoned. That would be a cool thing to learn. I mean, I'm assuming it has the same sort of uh, asynchronous multiplayer co-op invasion nonsense like Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. And Demon Souls. All of the souls. Blood Souls. Soulborn. Because otherwise it doesn't really make... Like, that's just, that's just what they do in these games. Uh, but otherwise the Bell of Beckoning or whatever we've got doesn't really make sense. We could also try ringing the bell, but where's the fun in that? Oh no. No stamina. That was the wrong button. It worked though. I gotta remember that we have that other attack. When we got our axe in uh, two handed mode here. that if they're oh wrong button I'm used to triangle being swap weapons and I my brain interprets this and this as different weapons not as the same weapon transformed I just the controls are just taking a little bit for me to get used to still yeah, let's just do this again running attack here. Just a upward swipe. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come on. Y'all one of these? Ooh, that did not work at all. a ton of bloodstone shards. It might be worthwhile going back and just, like, upgrading all of our weapons a whole bunch. Interesting that we got no visceral attack opportunity there, because I just flattened him. Okay. Ooh, that was almost bad. We're good, though. We got this. Blood echoes go. Super dangerous to take my eyes off of him. Dodge, dodge. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, man. Come on, back away, back away, back away. Gosh darn it. That stupid blunderbuss does so much damage. 
Nope, dodge. Out of stamina. Okay, all right, phase two. Oh, dodge into the swings. We gotta dodge into the swings. And not get hit. Okay, all right, that was a good exchange for us. Self. He has a follow-up attack there. Okay, phase three. We've been here once before. Werewolf mode. Bad news, bears. We were not here very long. So he's lost a lot of his range, but he's fast as balls. Okay, gun doesn't do jack against him. So he's just like fast and strong as hell in that mode. But we made it to that mode again, so that's good. I feel uh, I feel like we're making a little bit of progress here. Just gonna keep banging my head against this damn wall until the wall comes down. I was contemplating switching over to our axe and going in long axe mode. But that would have been way too slow for all of his attacks. I don't know. I <laughs> He gets super aggressive there. At least we, I don't think we have to worry about the damn gun. It looks like he's not really in full possession of his uh, all of his mental faculties at that point. We're also going to make a very brief detour here to pick up some more bullets, because I need more bullets. And Gramps here is happy to oblige. Don't feel bad beating up an elderly, wheelchair-ridden old man. Not really, he's a werewolf. I mean, we all know that, right? It's obvious at this point. That's awesome. We launched that corpse. Oh, and I missed with that attack. <laughs> That's so satisfying. Uh... Again, a little bit of grinding, maybe get like a couple of levels or something. Also, an option. But I really don't want to do that unless we absolutely have to. And we're uh, slowly but surely, I'm doing okay against this boss. Not really, but I'm going to keep telling myself that at least. Well, so much for that. I wish the boulder rolling were a bit more predictable, timing-wise. Hmm. He was ready to just pack it in, call it a day. I need to figure out how to get summoned. Assist in other boss fights. I want that to happen. I want to do that. I 
I'm assuming it's a thing like leveling. We just have to get far enough into the game. Make some sort of ambiguous progress. Well... Let's do one of these. button. Wrong weapon. That's what I wanted to do. Dang it. Alright, we'll just do that then. That didn't quite go as planned. So our friend back there is, uh, is back. Interesting. I was totally expecting that to be just like a one-time only enemy. <laughs> Your little jumpy thing? Oh, oh no. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, very bad. Oh no. Light post. Why did you have to be there? Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> this is not going well. we get around you? Yes, good. Hmm. Didn't quite have the effect I was hoping for. Okay, you do combos. It's okay, I do combos too. So you keep dropping that same bloodstone. Or blood gem. Whatever that is. Interesting. Now I don't have to feel bad about, uh, like, you know, using it for something. Not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Alright, that's a fair trade. I'll take that. We need to replenish our supplies a little bit. Oh, hello. I'm not used to coming from this direction. <laughs> you totally just scared the crap out of me. Uh, okay, that's the drop down. I don't actually want to be going this way. We want to be going the other way. Yeah, we want to go this way. In theory, I could have just gone back and climbed up the thing, but I'm killing all these guys trying to get some uh, blood echoes. We're, we're taking the grindy approach a little bit, kind of, here. Oh, I just, I like the quicker weapons better. I really do. It's like a very, very subtle, very minor difference, but it's there. Hello. What's going on, buddy? Hello, what's going on, buddy? Alright, 
Alright, we got a couple blood vials. We got some shots. Feeling pretty good about that. Come down here and hang out with our friends again. Hello. What's going on, buddy? close. I'm starting to wonder if there even are any one-time only enemies in this game. Bet you that pig's back. Yeah, that pig's definitely back. So I'm gonna miss. Lovely. Do we try fighting the giant pig again? This is probably not going to end well for me, but... Yeah, we'll go for it. Hello, giant pig. Come on, super pig. Let's not fight in the narrow hallway. Let's fight in the narrow hallway. How about that? Oh! Holy moly. That's why I didn't want to fight in the narrow hallway. I'm, I'm falling apart. I'm getting worse. Look at this. Our, my gameplay is going downhill here. Let's go see if we can get those blood echoes. <sighs> Hey, at this rate, we can go try fighting the big guy again. That seems to go okay when we can do the, uh, like, spinny attack against it. Let's get the blood echoes. Let's maybe go try and fight the big enemy. Again. And then we'll go back and we'll see if we can level up or upgrade our equipment. This is going to be a, another super extra mega long video, but that's okay. It's just the way it's got to be sometimes, you know? Let's also try really hard not to die in this whole process here. I would really like to not lose those blood echoes. Oh, and we gotta deal with these jokers over here wandering around first as well, because I don't want them to join in the fight. That worked, though. Ooh, we got a Molotov. That is potentially awesome. Clear path here. Hey, what's going on, pal? I don't like the range that you have on that thing. I also don't like that you just block with it. Well, you don't just block with it, but you know what I mean. Oh boy. 
Oh, I win. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, and you, you didn't give me the thing. Oh. Well, we got a good chunk of uh, blood souls. Dark, dark souls blood. Come here, you want a tango? Remember, there's two enemies up here. And then there's like a super aggressive guy up ahead who's gonna yell and scream when he kind of flails his sickle around wildly. This guy. Sickle, cleaver, whatever. You know what I meant. Still didn't help though. He still kind of beat me to the punch. At least I'm getting uh, quite familiar. Can find my way around this immediate area most of the time. Totally should have taken that hit. That's okay, though. I'm fine with the way things worked out there. Got some more shining coins. I haven't actually tried using any of those yet. They seem kind of pointless. I never used the... Uh... Oh, and I left the elevator down there because I was expecting to return. <laughs> oh, foolish me. Um... I never used the uh, prism stones in Dark Souls much either. Just not a very useful item. Especially in this game when you can just pull out a torch. Or the, uh, the lantern. And again, we need to get a cape. I really want to be able to actually, uh, you know, shake off my cape. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to drop down. We're going to look and see if our blood echoes are down there. I very strongly suspect that the pig has them. But you never know. Stranger things have happened. Oh, and they're right there. That's even better. I want nothing to do with that goo that you were vomiting up. Razor here. Yeah, those quick attacks like that are just awesome. Alright, we'll grab our blood. Rike, that's awesome. That's at least enough for a single level. Do I get greedy? Do I go for a little bit more? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. Who are we kidding? Of course I do. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. I totally should not have gotten away with that. I totally did not deserve to get away with that. <laughs> oh. All right. All right.
I love that double spin attack thing there. Oh boy. Okay. Again, totally shouldn't have gotten away with that either. I'm okay with that though. All right, two more and then we can go back. Hello. Killed him with a little bit of a flourish there at the end. Now let's see if we can backstab this guy again, or visceral attack, or whatever it's called. The answer's no. Still gotta figure out that mechanic. Alright, so we're up to just a hair under 4k, plus we have some... Oh man, we could like drop down and try to backstab the pig. Also seems like a really bad idea. Now we're gonna go back, we're gonna sit through a five minute long loading screen. When this video's already gone on, you know, ten minutes longer than it should have. Hell, like thirty minutes longer than it should have. Oh, this time... <laughs> uh, I did send the elevator back. I was expecting to die again. What does that say about just how I've been playing? All right, well, we've got a few blood echoes, I believe, or cold blood dews. Here we go. So that's 5k. We'll see how this is for leveling when we get back before I do any more. Or upgrading our weapons. I might upgrade my weapon. I should probably upgrade the little hand razor thing here. Mm, but we still have the uh, giant hammer thing, whatever that's called. Still curious about using that. Mm. Choices? Choices. We'd still need to gain, what, like three or four levels before we can use that weapon? And I don't even know if it would be any good. Uh, there wasn't anything for us to buy, was there? Just the weapons, and we bought those. We could load up on, like, Molotovs. Yeah, the Kirkhammer. That's what it was. You could buy the Blunderbuss or the Repeating Pistol. Our, uh, our... Blood tinge or whatever is not very good, so I'm not thinking that's a worthy investment for us at the moment. So let's do this. I'm really using the crap out of our uh, cleaver here. We got a lot of bloodstone shards. Yeah, we'll upgrade you again. Only 280 echoes. Yeah, you know what? Eight to upgrade you one more time. We can totally afford that. I'm using the axe a lot, too. Now, we're going to upgrade the cleaver. And, you know what? Let's, uh, let's repair everything while we're here. Oh, what's the... Oh, I bet you we have to um, have the altar to set the blood gems. Right? Because we can't do any sort of blood gem thing here, can we? No. We can't do anything like in our inventory. It, it said on the item description we have to do it at the... Uh... Oh, this is a rating of two. Yeah, we can't use it. So I bet you that's what we have to do... Like, that's what we need to use the altar for, is to set the blood gems. And we don't have a tool for that, whatever that means. So we have to unlock something. Okay, can we level up twice? Because that would be Welcome awesome. Home. What is it? Very well, let me... We should be able to. And I have another item that we can consume for more... Blood Echoes.
Yeah, we need 2,000 more for another level, and that other level will let us use the Kirk Hammer, though. Which I'm going after is a goal purely because it's a goal that I can go after. They find Nothing else to say. Well, Just because it's a thing. More weapons is always fun. Yeah, feeling pretty good about the upgraded cleaver. Oh, both of the first two slots are full. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I am perplexed. I don't know what those are. I'm I'm so confused by everything in this game. They <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, this game. Uh, what else was I going to do? Yeah, how many blood dues? We also have an insight thing we could use. To gain insight. I don't know what insight does for us. Use this to gain echoes. We only have one of them. It would probably recover. It'd probably give us like what, 500 echoes, which is not enough to level up again. So I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay, all right, feeling okay about this. I still wish I understood the mechanics of the game a bit better, but that's just something that'll come with time and probably like reading wikis online after I've beaten the game or given up on my no looking up anything online restriction. I'm not planning on giving that up anytime soon, don't worry. Where's the fun in looking everything up online? That's so stupid. Uh, let's see how much rocks are to buy. Sounds silly, I know, but... Yeah, let's buy a, a good stack of them. You know what, let's just buy all of them. Let's buy as many as we can hold. As many as we can afford. Oh, we can only hold 20. That's fine. Uh, now we got a whole bunch of rocks and we don't have any blood echoes to worry about losing. The rocks are surprisingly useful for throwing at enemies and, like, getting the attention of just one at a time. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you for joining me. And hopefully we can eventually go actually beat that boss. Although I'm feeling really good about our upgraded weapon here. So yeah, more of the same next time, I guess.